the police are tired. The armies are tired. They cannot just say anything, but they are tired. Do you understand? They are tired. Hello guys, it's your boy Darajis TV. This week we are diving into Nigeria hardship. As you all can see, everybody is preparing for the protests about uh, Nigeria hardship. But I would like us to be careful in everything we are doing. Let us just be careful before turning this into a war. Before turning into a war, we don't need such a thing. Guys, let's listen to very dark man and uh, understand everything he has been saying. You know, he is like a father to us in the internet. It's true that he says something sometimes that is not good. But if you finish watching this video, can do it like, subscribe and read the bell icon for more All videos. Right. Thank you. I saw a video of some military troops entering Lagos in respect of the protests. And I'm pretty sure they will send more because they want to scare you people from protesting and because they are also scared. Yes, they are scared. The police are scared. The army are scared. The, 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 the other security agencies are scared. And the president, Asiwajibola Ametinubu himself, is scared. Do you know why I say he's scared? Because no president will want his regime to be the regime where things went bad and where the country scatters. So he's pretty, pretty scared. Do you understand? But with the situation of the country, we are also scared that our future is not guaranteed anymore. See the way price of things is going up. Do you understand? See the way price of things is going up. See fuel price. Fuel price only seven something. See price of dollars, 1,600. Importation is lacking. People can no longer import. Businesses are folding. People are suffering. Prices of rice is going up. Pricing of, uh, price of food, even gari. Gari, what would they do for bini? Yeah, 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 yeah. See the price of gari. Do you understand? Things have gone bad. So there's a need to protest because it is our own constitutional rights. People cannot be eating us and you, help us, you expect us to fold our hands and be looking at you. No, we will not do that. Now, you people say you have carried, uh, I see one news, they don't carry minimum wage, they enter 70,000 naira. What will 70,000 naira do when fuel price is 700 naira? Let's assume that you are using 2 liters to go to work. 700 times 30 days will give you about 42,000 naira. So for 2,000 naira, come out inside there, 70,000 naira, how much good it mean? Do you understand? Now you are going to buy food. If you seek, you go hospital, you go buy. I'm with drugs. Drugs don't skyrocket. Even normal malaria drug now they reach 2,000, 2,500, 3,000. Some one they even need 38,000. Do you understand? The money is small. People are suffering. Bring the fuel price down. That's the main thing. Do you understand? The protest is needed. But now this is what I want Nigerians to understand. And this is important. This protest you are seeing, right? Please. We have to be careful. I want it to be me. Oh, I will tell you people the truth. Let it be as peaceful as possible. Because even this government, where they see so, they won't use their own people against you. They will put their people inside the midst of the protesters to scatter things. This is why I want us to be smart. Do not be the ones to trigger the government to attack. Do your protest as peaceful as possible. Don't go and be looting. Don't go and be stoning police. Don't go and be hitting this one. Don't go and be barricading road. If you want to walk, walk around. Don't go and block road. Say you want to do protest. No. Don't be the one to trigger the government for the government to attack. Like I said, they get their own people where they will send. When I then go, they do all those looting and all that. Mona hold those ones down. May they come carry them. When I say some boys, don't they go break break things? Mona gather and I say catch them, hold them. Not them, 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 them. Be that. Do you understand? Not them, them. Mind you, this Kenya, you people are using as example now. Look at the situation of Kenya. Let's start with this, with the celebrity of Kenya. If you remember this guy, it's a popular guy in Kenya. Now, this guy is even saying it. He's getting out of control. See? Now, see the many things that is happening. See the way I army mean, don't they pipe them for streets. The Kenya people are using as example. Kenya don't they scatter. I don't want this situation in Nigeria, please. Nigeria, I don't get anywhere else to go. I am not interested in going abroad. I can only live here. Do you understand? Please. The youths, please. 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 It's not a situation where I go, they throw stone, they loot, they do this one, they go break property, they do all those things. No, we don't need that. Let them take us serious. Please. Even the police are tired. The armies are tired. They cannot just say anything, but they are tired. Do you understand? They are tired. But please, don't be an instrument. Like I said, a lot of people are trying to take advantage of this protest. There are a lot of people waiting. 
There are a lot of people living in Cold War in Nigeria. Some tribes are living Cold War. They can, even in the north, they can't wait to start attacking themselves. Then they, they did for north, and they see them like this. They cannot wait to say, ah, oh yeah, now more boss enter Joss. More boss enter Kaduna. More enter Kano. He did for our fronts for here. More enter Benui. More come up from a boy. He did. There are a lot of insurgents group that are waiting to take advantage. So we will not be used as instruments. That's only what I want to say. It is our right to protest. It's our constitutional right because they cannot be treating us like this and we fold our hands. It means there's no future for our kids. We go around the protest. But please, I want to beg you people, let it be as peaceful as possible. I beg you. I beg you. If anybody go to loot, I'm going to gather and say, catch and hold down. These people will not have anything against us. They will not. They will not. You see, say, boy, the guy, 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 no follow them. Carry them, come. Carry and give police, then we continue our protest. Do you understand? They will learn. And they will learn the hard way. Don't play. Please, let it be peaceful. Please, let it be peaceful. Thank you.